Good morning, students. Today we shall begin with the first lesson of Standard Five, Unit One, Boundless Nature. The story of an orange. Boundless means something unlimited. That nature gives us something unlimited. As we just read, it is a story of an orange. You can see a picture of an orange. This is a gift of nature. which we uh, often eat and it provides vitamin c so this is a boundless gift of nature so we begin nobody knows exactly from where the oranges came though south east asia is thought to be its first home nobody knows from where these oranges started growing Uh, though it has come it is thought that it is first home is in south east asia south east asia the climate where it is little warmer so it is said that it was thought that oranges first came from south east asia but today it is grown in most of the warmer parts of the world oranges need a little warm climate to be grown so nowadays it is grown in mostly all the parts where the climate is a little warm warm means not very hot and not very cold the greeks and romans knew about the orange it is possible that the orange was carried from india to western asia and then to europe in the olden days when the greeks and the romans were there that 1700 years where they ruled they knew about this fruit and it is thought that they had carried this fruit to the western asia and then it has it was taken to europe now today the orange is the most important fresh fruit in the international trade now orange is become a very famous fruit in the international market because it it provides vitamin c and it it is an untouched fruit untouched fruit because it has a whole skin on its uh, fruit and when you peel it off it is nice and fresh we need not need to wash it so it is become a very important fresh fruit the three chief kinds of oranges are the sweet or common orange the mandarin orange and the sour or bitter orange of these the sweet orange is the most important it is after 3 years that the tree starts bearing fruits as you can see the picture the it is not a very huge tree only in 3 years it it is grown up and from after 3 years it starts getting its fruit and this orange which is known as the sweet orange this is mostly popular among all the different kinds of oranges you can see the diff, uh, the beautiful uh, orange color and it is the best of all there are the usual an interesting kind of sweet orange is called the blood orange its pulp is deep red in color and it is grown in the mediterranean region and there is a another sweet orange it, it also has different kinds and one of them is the uh, blood orange why it is called the blood orange because the pulp inside when you skin it off it is deep red in color so it is called the blood orange the temple is an orange with a thin loose skin it is a mixture of the mandarin and the sweet orange now this is another orange which is a mixture of two kinds a mandarin and a sweet orange and that orange where it is a mixture of two it is called the temple or the sar orange is grown almost everywhere especially in spain the chief use of this orange is to make marmalade since it is too bitter to be eaten as a fruit this sour orange as we know it is a very uh, khatta they say it is a sour taste 
and they are mostly uh, grown especially if you find it in Spain now this uh, uh, which is very sour they cannot be just eaten raw the fruit so they make marmalades out of it because it becomes too bitter the sour taste becomes too bitter so they make marmalades marmalades are different types of jams which are little sour bitter in taste the orange is a clean fruit anyone who touches it only touches the outer covering which can be easily peeled off as i just said it is a very clean fruit why do we say it is a clean fruit because it has a whole skin on the fruit and we have we need to remove the skin and then eat the fruit inside so it is an untouched fruit a clean fruit the thick oily and bitter skin does not allow insects to get into the fruit has a very thick layer around which we peel it off it is so thick that the insects cannot get in to eat the real fruit oranges therefore are in demand all over the world so whenever in that warm season when we oranges are grown this fruit is a more in demand all over the world so here you can see as it is mentioned in the above paragraph Uh, jams and marmalades were made from sour orange because it is a little bitter in taste so jams were prepared so give it a sweet and uh, a little sweet and a little bitter taste and it can be more easily eatable so here you can see the picture there are all different colors some are orange some are red some are yellow so according to the different kinds of oranges the jams and marmalades were me